Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here with the video of a Jane Austen junk journal. This is my December design team for Tsunami Rose. It is two signatures made from a 9x12 envelope and it is fabric covered. So let's get started. So this green fabric is something I just picked up the other day from my thrift store. And then of course the front and back are images from the kit as you can see and then I have this pretty I don't know um, bias tape maybe it's folded in half I also picked that up from my thrift store the other day and that's the closure so yeah two signatures pamphlet stitch and then this is sewing on um, I don't know what is going on with my camera. It does not um, seem to want to focus right. Anyway, so on the inside I covered it with some green paper and a things to do list, which I thought would be really convenient for Christmas. Just a second, I'm going to try and zoom in. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Um, and so there's a things to do list and then on these, the ends, I put this fringe, which I coffee dyed. I don't know why, I just like it. So I put it there. And then of course you have her, her beautiful kit. And I have never done anything with Tsunami, uh, with Jane Austen. It really is not my thing, but I really like this journal. Um, if I needed another journal, I'd be keeping it, but this one is for sale. More scrapbook paper with the punch. And my sewing is a little bit interesting, and the reason for that is, well, my sewing's never very good, but the reason that it's even more interesting than normal, I got my vintage sewing machine working. My friend helped me. And one thing about the vintage machine is the speed of the machine is all controlled by the pedal. And um, yeah, that's just a bit of a learning curve. So I was not very good at controlling my speed and I cannot sew very fast if I want it straight. But anyways, so, oh yeah, it's backed on ledger paper. I am sorry, I feel kind of, I don't know, out of it, I guess, but. Um, that page, this is some um, stationery that I picked up the other day. Some of my dyed paper. And I just realized that there is one page in here that I forgot to complete, but that's okay. It will be complete before I, um, before I ship it, if I sell it. Hopefully it sells. Um, this is just a fabric clip. I don't know if this fabric is vintage. It's made from an old apron. And then I, this white lace and this red. Well, these laces are all vintage. That I know for sure. This is one of her images that came with the kit. I just cut it out and sewed it on. More stationery that I picked up the other day. Uh, I do not have tons of Christmas paper. I think I've mentioned that in another video. This is where I forgot to finish. I um, I need to put the side pockets here uh, on this page. And what happened here was I wasn't paying attention and I printed um, the TN size on the back by accident, but I left it because I thought I'd add a side pocket. So I'm going to do that with um, probably coffee dye paper, not sure yet. Um, more of that stationery, and I did not do anything to the back of it. I thought about coffee dyeing it, but then changed my mind. This is from that vintage, well, I don't know if it's vintage, but from that apron, I just made a pocket and then I, added some tags and I have another sheet of tags that I need to add. So, and then add into the journal. So it is missing that yet as well. 
But because Christmas is coming faster than, um, faster than I realized, I guess, I just wanted to get this video in case there was interest in it. And then, of course, I will complete complete the takes before I ship it. Center of the signature is just this. It's a little bit loose. The signature itself isn't loose, but the envelope is um, because I did not go through it twice and I should have. And I love the feel of this journal. This is also a pocket and it will have tags in it. So, this is stuff that I just picked up fairly recently. And this is the other side that needs uh, the pocket on it. So there's no stamping or stenciling in this one. I do not, I mean, I'm, I have wreath stamps and I mean, I could do some bows or something, but like I said, Jane Austen is not something I've ever done before. So I don't know. I don't even know what stamps I would have used if I would have wanted to stamp in here. This is nice thick paper. It's, um, I don't know. It came with a set of, I think, 25 and I think maybe it's stamping up close to my heart. I don't really know. Somebody gave it to me or I bought it in a D-stash. I don't remember. Okay. And then this is different. On the end of this signature, I have this lace. So I have two with this lace and then two with that fringe lace. So each signature has the same um, pages that I have added, but different printout pages. Another one of the pockets that I made. Sorry, my fingers are in the way. And the printout, uh, it's like daisy sheets are all printed on the back with lines. Another one of those calendar sheets and it has been backed. This coffee dye paper is so fun. I did it a long time ago and then I forgot about it. Um, so I am slowly using things up. I need to do more coffee dyed paper, but it's really nice to use up stuff I had done and forgot about. And I really like this paper too. And then same on this page, I will I will do um, the pockets. So, and this one, because I didn't like the way it was in the other signature, I put it further down so that it would go through twice. And it's a center. And so I did this so that you could either close it up as an envelope or um, journal on it. Pages are so beautiful. And this, I don't know. I love this coffee dyed paper and I don't know how I got that effect. I know it was instant coffee, but that's all I know. And I don't have any instant coffee right now. So my other pages can be done with regular. Here's the flip up on this side, the fabric flip. And these are inspired by Diane. Hebert. Another pocket and I'll put tags in there. I also have more things to do lists that I printed out smaller that I will be adding to this. And another pocket. And then the back of the signature and then another things to do list in the back of the journal. So sorry that it took so long to flip through. I know I went kind of slowly, but it is for sale. It is um, 
25 US. And if you are interested, please leave me a comment and I will get back to you. And then shipping is on top of that. And I should say I have, I keep trying to, to remember to say I am in Canada. So shipping does take a week to two weeks to get to you. Just so you are aware of that. Anyways, thank you for watching.